Okay, this is going to be the same thing, but this time I'm going to draw a gable roof. So I'm going to move a bit quickly here. If you've already watched the first video, I'm going to draw this first big one here. Uh, I'm going to draw those two lines to make this big rectangle. But then what I'm going to do is just draw a line straight across to get that midpoint, because that's going to be the midpoint of this ridge. So now we're doing a gable end. A gable is just going to have a ridge like that. So again, if this roof was everything we had, then this roof would be complete. It's not. A gable has a peak which goes all the way through the end, so I know, now I'll do this little roof over here. I know this peak is going to be at the center of this. We'll just draw a line sort of from there to there. And sort of as a rule of thumb, um, a, ga a gable doesn't have the 45s come from the outside corners, but it often has them come from the inside corners. So if I just draw another line here at 145, and I'll just move that line here, and then fill it, that is what a gable will look like. So this slope is running 612 this direction, that one is 612 this direction. That's how this thing starts to look. Now I can just mirror that. And this one over here is finished too. So whenever we have a simple gable sort of coming into the roof, it actually it's actually quite simple to do. Now I'm going to draw this one here again. And I'm going to draw, let's see, the center of this is right here. So I want one that long. So I'm going to draw a line from that midpoint to there. Extend it down to here. Then I can erase that line. And I'm going to have a 45 coming off there. There's my 45 starts there. Fill it. And then I can mirror that over and that should land right on that corner. It does. There's one of my big roofs there. And now I have another little roof over here, another little gable that starts here. So that gable is going to start from here and go up to this point. So this gable, this fascia board kind of comes in and hits this fascia here. So this slope and this slope are the same. So I can trim that up like that. And I think this one is complete. I think that roof plan is complete. I'm going to erase it and see if I forgot anything. I think I got it all. So I'll undo that and then just turn that back on again. The reason I have to erase it, oh, oh, I went from the wrong corner. Hmm, yes, my old answer is right, I did that wrong. So I want to move those two lines up here. Oh, yeah, that's right, I'm breaking my own rules. These 45s only come off of inside corners. So move that line up to there and extend this purple line to there. 45s only come off inside corners. That's right, not from outside corners. Lesson learned. Makes sense. When I'm drawing this thing in elevation, I'm going to draw straight across. Actually, let's draw straight across from here. Here's the outside of my fascia. So last assignment I had the fascias all set up. This time I don't. Extend it to there. Extend it. Uh, trim these. And I'll extend this one up. That's how it looked for now. And then I'm going to offset this thing six inches. Give me a six inch fascia. Now what I'm going to do is, I don't know how high this one here is going to be. This one's going to take some more time to do. I don't know how high that is going to be, but I do know that one of my ridges is going to be right there. And that the line from here up to that is going to be at minus, minus 120, 60. So I'm going to do it at 612 again. I can extend and mirror. erase that ridge. So that that's going to be there. And this one here, that 612 there, should come right to that point, which it does. So I can now trim that up. Uh, this is actually going to be my fascia, so I can offset that 6. And then I can trim this one up. From that point right there, I can trim up the rest of that fascia. And these lines just to get extended up. I'll extend them later. I'm going to have another ridge right here. So if I can do that... I'm going to mirror those two lines at that point right there. And then I can just trim those. What do I trim? I trim that and that, I think. That's right. Fill it that. And then this gable end will come right to the end of that line right there. Sweet. And the bottom there comes to the bottom there. fill at these two points here too. Fill it all this stuff up. Well, come on, fill it. 
sweet. And then trim that. That's how that front looks, but I still don't know how big that first one's going to be. So what I need to do is go over here, and I know that that big roof is going to be centered on two lines that are right here. So if I can extend those lines down, that'll be the edge of my fascia. I think I'm doing this right. That'll be the edge of my fascia board. That'll be the top of my fascia. And I can copy them up. Copy over a 612 slope. There's my 612 there. Move that 612 into here. Those should come to, those should fill it. And then that's how tall that roof over here is going to be. I can take that height to all the way across. And that roof will start here. And that's going to be the height of that roof right there. The rest of my roofs I can get. I can get the height when it comes and hits here. That's where that roof is going to hit here. And it's going to end at that line right there. So I can take this. And trim all that up so that I can erase this line. I don't need those anymore. And I know that this one here is going to come across. And it's going to end right there. So I can trim those lines up. Trim, 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 trim. And that's how this roof will start to look. Last thing I have is this one in the back. I've never drawn that, but if I put this, if I put this whole roof over top of this plan, again I'll copy it over, rotate it 90 degrees, move it into place, say from the end of there to the midpoint here. I can double check all these numbers. I can double check that that point comes and hits right there. That thing comes there. This little point that I've got right there is actually hitting right there, which is neat. And then I can get that final one over here too. So that point will come in here. I can come off that, take this exterior straight up, fill it all this, and then do a bunch of trimming. At the end of the day, my answer should look like something like that, but my height, oh, my heights are a bit different because I just did my lines a little bit different, but the idea of the, uh, the idea is exactly the same. My, my height ended up being a bit different. I changed it to start. So hopefully that helps. Um, I'll do a, a multi-pitch now and maybe that one will help you out too. Take care, bye.